Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing the updated recipe for my shea cocoa butter, which I shared a good six years ago. And in this recipe, I am adding three new butters, which are avocado butter, mafura butter, and tukuma butter. So to start, I am going to melt and sieve my shea butter. And that's because I find that the shea butter that I've got, I got it from Ghana and I find that it, it tends to have little particles in it. So I like to melt it and then strain it. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm going to use the double boiler method to melt it down. So remember this is 300 grams of shea butter so once it's melted I am going to use my muslin to sieve it you can use whatever you've got to do this um, I'll put a link of where I get this from um, on Amazon so as you can see these are the black particles I was talking about I will show you again after I have squeezed out the excess oil so here it is so you really do not want this in your butter also if I sound a little bit stuffy it's because I'm not very well so here I am going in with 100 grams of cocoa butter cocoa butter as we all know is a very hard butter so it's important that if you want to melt it down very quickly that you cut it down into smaller sizes so you could either grate it or use a knife to cut it down or even use a potato peeler to um, scrape it into little shavings so it can melt quickly for you so now that it's melted I am going to go in with the avocado butter so that is 100 grams of avocado butter and then here I am going in with the Tukuma butter so I'm gonna mix with this until it melts so now that all three butters have melted I am going to put it in the fridge for it to cool down and solidify a little bit then I'll come back and whisk it and then add the mafura butter to it and the other oils as well so whilst the butter is cooling down in the fridge I'm going to measure out my oils and according to my recipe I need 300 grams in total of the oils that I have lined up here first I've got jojoba oil which I only need 25 grams of. Okay, so we've got 25 grams. Put that in here. That is 50 grams of vitamin E oil. So the next is almond oil and we're using 50 grams of that as well. Here is Moringa oil, We've got 25 grams of that. So next is Zmenia and it's 25 grams of that too. So the last one is avocado oil and I need 175 of that so that is 300 grams of oil in total so now we've just got the oils and the mafura butter to go into our recipe so I kept this in in the fridge I can't remember exactly how long but until it had solidified and I'm just testing how solid it is and then I went in with the Mafura butter I loved this butter so much this is my first time using it it's so soft it just sinks into the skin very easily it's not very greasy super moisturizing it smells a bit like caramel 
I am just in love yeah I'm obsessed just just look at just how it just disappears into my skin so I just beat that into the rest of my butters and I feel like if I didn't go in with any oils this would have been fine you know I didn't really need all those extra oils that I added later but I needed to go through with the recipe but next time because it's such a soft butter I'm sure I could just mix it with the hard butters and call it a day and it will be just as good so if you don't have a lot of money to buy all these different oils and you have one hard butter and a soft butter you can definitely get away with just using those two your butter will come out just fine look at that it's literally looks like ice cream I love it so I'm just scraping the sides just to make sure to get everything in um, you don't really want to ignore the sides because it does sort of like solidify around the sides so you, you need to make sure to get everything in I then went in with all the oils and that really made my mixture very creamy so depending on where you live you might need to adjust your butter to oil ratio if you live in a hotter country you might need to use more butter and less oils and if you live in a colder country you can just stick with this formula if you also live in a warmer country try not to use too many soft butters maybe concentrate on using harder butters like the Takuma butter and the shea butters and the cocoa butters those are harder um, butters and then mixing it with the oils as opposed to having the hard butters as well as the softer butters because your mixture would end up too creamy and you don't really want that and it's going to also melt down quicker than if you had more hard butters so definitely keep that in mind so i've decided to go in with some arrowroot powder it helps to make it less oily i've measured this and it's 17 grams and it's a tablespoon now this wasn't accounted for in um the formulation when I was actually creating my recipe so keep that in mind for when you're creating yours okay it's a little bit better it's not as uh, as flowy as it was before so I don't mind it I'm gonna keep whisking and then come back and show you what it's looking like with my first video a lot of people were complaining that they were whisking and the mixture wasn't becoming creamy now i didn't really time how much i was whisking for i basically just whisked until i got the desired result so there's no one time i can't tell you to mix for 20 minutes because like i said before where you live and the weather and climate plays a huge part in the final result form and texture of your butter so keep that in mind and wherever you are adjust your recipe accordingly and also whisk until you get the desired results okay so this is the end result very very creamy very flowy um, but yeah like I said it hardened later on and I'll show you a picture of the of the final result a few weeks later and also it turned out like this because on this particular day that I did this it was a very very warm day in England so that's why it happened this way but this 
did harden later on. So this is it. So very soft and creamy and it was just so so moisturizing and nourishing for my skin it felt so good and it smells amazing it smells like cocoa and caramel love 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 i am so so obsessed with this recipe and new formulation so here i'm just applying it to my left shoulder and i'm showing you the difference to the right shoulder where nothing has been applied and you can tell the difference there's a glow to the skin that the other side doesn't have. And this is how it looks like on my hands. So it's not very greasy at all. And this is my other hand, which doesn't have anything on it. So yeah, use this recipe or amend it to your liking and let me know what you think. And until next time, I shall see you in my next video. Don't forget to watch my previous video about my hair loss story and the sort of things I did to recover from my hair loss and improve the thickness of my hair and my crown area. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!